this morning we have baptisms, and in our church we invite people to come and share their spiritual journey. And so it's a way for us as a congregation to hear their story, to pray for them, gather around them. And so this morning we're going to be doing that. And so I'm going to invite those who are being baptized, if you come sit right on the front row here, so Don's not all alone. Don, you're in the spit zone, but that's okay. I'm going to invite everyone who's getting baptized just to come sit right at the front right here. And so that you're ready to share. So this morning we have five baptisms, and we're excited for each one as they follow Christ in the waters of baptism. So Linda um, is going to be first this morning, and so we're going to invite you up to come and share what God's been doing in your life. Good morning. As, uh, as um, uh, Tim mentioned, my name is Linda, Linda Johansson. I was born and raised in Edmonton. I was born 70 years ago, so, so I'm sev- yeah, 70 years young. I was the fourth child in a family of eight. I was baptized as an infant, but my family didn't really attend church. We moved out on, on an acreage in the south side of Edmonton when I was six years old. My first encounter with Jesus was at about the age of 10. My mom bought a set of books called The Bible Stories, and I looked it up, and you can actually still buy them. But she just bought the last four, which was the New Testament. And I, I really, really liked that. It just That was my first introduction to Jesus. And then when I was about 13 or 14, um, I told my mom I wanted to go to church. So uh, she was very happily, drove me to church, dropped me off, and came back and picked me up afterwards. So, so that didn't last too long. It was a different atmosphere. It wasn't as welcoming, and I was there by myself. So that was that. Um, time went on. I got married, and I've been married for 50 years at the end of this month. Yeah. Had, we had three daughters, Anne, Martina, and Kristen, who are all here today um, and with their families, and we moved out onto an acreage near Devon. I didn't always consider myself a Christian. I did always consider myself a Christian in my heart, <clears throat> but I didn't want to join a, a church, and I really wasn't living a Christian life. Our neighbors' sons invited. Excuse me. <clears throat> our neighbors' sons invited our girls to youth group at the Devon Alliance Church. They all went, and they eventually all became Christians. In 2003, our youngest daughter Kristen, now Kristen Horn, you may know her was going to a college and career Bible study. I said, I have a career. Can I go too? (laughs) The leader, Francis, said yes, and that was the start of my journey of faith. Francis became my mentor and my best friend, and she is also here today with her husband. In 2019, I joined a ladies' Bible study in my area, and those ladies also helped me on my journey, and Gail Epp is one of those, and, and my friend Sandra is here as well. Um, Our daughter, Kristen, and her husband, Trevor, have been attending River Rest for about 12 years. And when COVID hit, I started watching the services on Zoom so I could see them and the children on the tablet. I go scrolling through. Oh, oh, yeah, there they are. (laughs) What are the kids doing now? (laughs) Um, I became familiar with Pastor Tim and Pastor Erica, so that made it easier to think about actually attending and joining River West. I already felt like I knew them, and that made me more comfortable. Of course, having a daughter, son-in-law, and four grandchildren as members here helped too. I began attending about a year ago, and my life has gradually changed. I feel calmer, happier, and less anxious. I am putting my trust in God more and more all the time. How freeing it is to know that God has me in his hands. I look back at the people and experiences God put in my life that made me the person I am now, and... uh, Uh, Okay, and how many years ago he was preparing me for today and for the future. I want to thank all of those uh, here. All all you have made me feel so welcome, Um, all the people that I have met. And uh, for those I haven't really made a connection with yet, I uh, look forward to doing that as well. Thank you. Okay, at this time we're going to invite Sean up. Yeah, my, my, Good morning. my pleasure. Oh, what a change in perspective. Um, wow, uh, I'm not good at speeches. I'm, very, I'm not good at public speaking at all, to be honest. So. My name's Sean, first of all. 50, I'm from Edmonton. Um, 
Sorry, all that's going through my mind is don't trip, don't swear, don't curse. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, jeez. Um, I apologize. Um, I, I guess I just want to say I'm very grateful. I've been here for a couple months right now. I was introduced to the congregation here through Rebecca, who I'd like to thank. Um, and I'd like to thank Pastor, I don't remember your freaking, Erica. Erica. I apologize. Um, I'm nervous as heck. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Um, I'm very grateful to be here. And uh, thank you. I'll leave it at that. Thanks. Thank you. Man, I can look eye to eye with. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Um, before I get into my very, very short testimonial, I'd like to remind us that compassion, understanding, and forgiveness are three key things that I think we as Christians and actually we as people should keep in mind. And I'd like to get a little extra of that a little later when you see the shirt I'll be wearing. I won't tell you what it is. But I will tell you that many of you will be happy that it's not the Calgary Flames. Okay. <laughs> I was born in Nippon, Saskatchewan a few years ago. And like many of us, I was baptized as an infant. Uh, we moved to Edmonton very shortly after I was born. I have vague, vague remembrances of Sunday school in Otwell. Then we moved to Lacombe, where I grew up. And again, very, very vague memories of Sunday school. After I turned 18, I left home. I went to Red Deer for a brief period of time, and I came to Edmonton. Church just wasn't part of my life. I was never, I always, there was something nagging probably in the back of my mind that wasn't quite out there yet. I was never a non-believer. I always felt, hey, there's got to be something there. And uh, maybe 10 years ago when I was here in Edmonton, decided it was time to go, time to do something, time to, to really get involved, because I felt that from birth to 80-ish years old, there had to be way more than that to life and after life. What I needed at this point in my life was some calmness, some, some smaller calmness. I needed a place where I could understand and hear the words of the songs that were being sung. So to that, I thank our team for having music that I can understand, that I can hear. I feel better. I feel calm. This is what I wanted, uh, a more of a community, more of a smaller place. And it's just thank you. To those I've met so far, thank you for making me feel welcome. And I'm in a good place. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. We now have Liam. Liam, come on up. And Liam's going to share with us what God's been doing in, 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 in his life. Hello, my name is Liam. I was born to my biological parents, and then God brought me to my nice parents. My parents brought me to church and taught me about Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus because he told me to trust him. Jesus put the Holy Spirit in me to help me follow Jesus. In the, I mean, in the future, I want to follow Jesus by listening to his word, by reading the Bible, and listening to Christian music like Toby Mac. I want to be baptized because I want to show everyone that I believe in Jesus. Awesome. Thank you, Liam. Woo! Thank you so much. I wonder who her family is. <laughs> just make sure you just stay a little lower just so everyone can see wherever they're at. We are so proud of our mama and grandma. It's Absolutely. So cold. It is a little chilly. <laughs> I'll have a fundraiser one. for the heater for the baptismal tank. <laughs> I'll, I'll head it. So, Linda, upon your confession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit.
So, John, you're up next. Do you want to head? Yes. Thank you. Here we are. So, Sean, upon your confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Congratulations, man. John, upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. It's a little chilly, isn't it? <laughs> you come right up to the, the plate, you know? So, Liam, upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and this and the Spirit. <laughs> Congratulations, Liam. You really went down for it. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> 